my friends, I'm Brett Larkin. This is a mommy and me class. My son is about five and a half months old right now, but you could do this routine with any pre-crawler. And again, highly modify the exercises. I am just trying to show you in this video how I'm working out and stretching at home with my baby. And it really has become a bonding time for us. I feel like he really loves looking into my eyes and he just feels like I'm so engaged with him uh, when I play with him in this way. And I love it because I'm getting a little bit of a workout and a stretch in too. Before we begin, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you have a boy or a girl and how old uh, he or she is. I love reading all your comments and connecting with you. Uh, so leave that info below and uh, let's get started. To begin, come on into your version of a downward facing dog. So you want to do this right over baby. So spread the palms nice and wide. Hi, hi sweetie. So spread the palms wide, press down through the knuckles, and then just pedal through the legs, right? So this is just a little stretch to warm up the backs of the legs. And usually in down dog, we want the ears alongside the biceps, but of course for today, you're looking at your little one and that's totally fine. Oh, bubbles. So just walk yourself forward so you can really have eye contact with baby. You don't have a lot to say, huh? And just keep pressing one heel and then the other heel down into the floor. Good. Just a stretch for the backs of the legs to warm up. And then drop down onto your knees. Have your hands directly under your shoulders, hips uh, over the knees, and we'll just do a couple cat cows. So inhale, open across the chest. And exhale, pull the chin into the navel to round. And then you can make a funny face at baby. So you can make a funny face as you come into up cat. And a funny case, face as you come into down cat. Couple more. You can also blow kisses at baby as you come up into up cat. And blow kisses as you come down into down cat. So just do three more on your own. Just have fun. Try to keep eye contact with baby and just goof off with them as you flow through these movements. Good. Last one. <laughs> nice. And now come back into your dog. So pedaling through the legs, <laughs> pressing down through each heel. And then we're gonna come into forearm plank. So this is gonna be our first little ab energizer. So forearms on either side of baby so that they can touch and play with your face. And then extend the legs along behind you. Um, heels root away and inner thighs squeeze together. Wah! And then zipper your abs up and in. So think of your hips moving towards your chin. And we're gonna do a static hold here for a little longer than is comfortable, but that's great because it's gonna help our core stay nice and strong. Uh, or help our core recover its strength. <laughs> Good. So deep breathing here. And your baby's like here to entertain you as you ah do this uh, plank pose. Maybe they're pulling your hair. Keep zippering the abs up and in. Keep sending the heels powerfully back. Squeeze the inner thighs together. <sighs> Feel the core turn on. This might be the only uh, intense core work you get to do today. So really love the fact that the core is turning on. Deepen the breath. If it starts to get serious or intense, just blow kisses at baby. Stay with me, stay with me. Hips towards chin, hips towards chin. Keep moving the hips towards the chin. Tailbone lengthens back. Squeeze the inner thighs in the seat together. Keep it here. Just another 10 seconds. The last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, let the hips lower down. Oh, and just rest. Just take a second to chill and play out with babe. Whew. That was intense. <laughs> that was intense. Yeah. <laughs> Super intense. Good, and then press back into a child's pose. So you can take your hips wide. And again, I take a little modified child when I'm with him. So I just come down onto the elbows and sway the hips from side to side. That way I can still see him. Hi, Punchkin. <laughs> Good. 
So for those of you who did my first mommy and me routine, you know that we kept baby in this position for the whole uh, routine. So for this new one, I wanted to show you some things you can do with baby um, in front of you. So you're gonna change baby's position right now from being at the front of the mat to being on the side of the mat, which means you're gonna want like a little blanket for him or her. So I have this baby yoga mat for Alex, but you don't need that. You could just put uh, just a blanket, just something so that they're comfortable uh, right in front of you. Come here, sweetie. Okay, perfect. So once you've got baby into this uh, position on the side of the mat, this is when you're gonna now come up into a wide-legged forward fold. So toes in, heels out. That's gonna give you the best stretch along the backs of the legs. Uh, so again, make sure the, it's like your pigeon toe. So toes in, heels out, your legs should be one leg's distance apart. And oh my gosh, I just love hanging out here and getting a stretch in the back of the legs as I gaze into baby's eyes. So remember all the work you do in this yoga little routine is gonna go deeper if you do yogic breathing. So just try to breathe in and out through the nose, making those inhales and exhales equal length. Breathing in this way is also just gonna help calm your whole nervous system. <laughs> so if things don't go so well later in the day, you'll be nice and calm. We're nice and calm because we did some yoga. So here I like to roll into the heels and then roll into the balls of the feet as well. So getting a nice stretch in the backs of the legs. <laughs> and then you can let your head fall into baby or you can scooch them back and tickle their feet. <laughs> Just do whatever you need to to make it fun for them and fun for you to hang out here. Hi, peanut. And remember, if you start to feel any strain in the neck from looking down at your baby and being in this position, it just means you need to either like walk forward or walk back so that there's not so much uh, strain in the neck. <laughs> okay, next we're gonna take this into a twist. I love this one. So you're gonna put your hand right near baby. <laughs> it can be your left or right hand, doesn't matter. And then reach the opposite arm up to the sky. So I like to come on to my fingertips so I have like a little spidey hand right by his face. I keep my gaze down at him, but I'm just getting a juicy, juicy stretch. Think of your tailbone lengthening back, abs pull in, crown of head reaches forward. You can take the gaze up to the ceiling and then back down to baby. Hi. One more big, big breath. So just make an effort to do at least two really full, deep yogic breaths in whatever positions we hit. And then take the opposite hand down, so for me it's the right and left up, it doesn't matter, just taking the twist to the other side. Again, the most important thing here is to find length in the spine. So if you notice you're like hunched over or this isn't uh, working, you can always like use your baby lightly <laughs> for support. Or again, come up onto those spidey hands. Hi, sweetie. Hmm. So the idea here is we're just opening the shoulders, finding a gentle twist, hug the abs that we worked earlier up and in. So the belly's not splaying out to the floor. Good. And then both hands down. Turn both toes out now, and you're gonna bend into the right or left leg. Again, doesn't matter, you can just mirror me. And then here I like to roll my weight forward and back. So I'm just stretching into uh, the hamstring and the inner groin. You were very vocal today. You were very vocal. And remember, the more you just make eye contact with them, this is just like a bonding experience for both of you. Just having fun during this little class. Good, and then take it over to the other side. So you're gonna bend into the opposite knee. That opposite foot flexes up. And then again, a little bit forward and back. Good. You lifting your hips off the ground? Wowee. <laughs> Good. Ooh, we're so much fun. Okay, and now that we've opened the inner groin and the um, inner thighs, uh, we can optionally take this into a squat. So a couple options, you can just press the elbows into the thighs. Try not to press right onto the knee because that feels kind of ouch, but just into the inner thighs and then just rock side to side here. I love this because it opens up my low back and again, the inner groin just feels great. 
and I can look directly into baby. Back of neck is long. Hi, Munchkin. <laughs> You're rolling around. Remember, two deep yogic breaths in each pose is our goal. So deep breath in. And out. And in. And out. Good. And then if you can, take this all the way down into Malasana, squat pose. So traditional yogi squat. If this isn't an option for you, you can just sit in butterfly position. So just come to sit uh, on your bum with your uh, soles of feet touching. Hi, cutie. So if you are in Malasana yogi squat, press the elbows into the inner thighs and then really resist that. Press the inner thighs back into the elbows. Especially if you're carrying your baby around a lot, this is great because it's super therapeutic for your low back. Mm, and you can gaze down at him or her. Mm, two deep yogic breaths in and out through the nose. Good, and then take the left hand down to the ground or the right, either way, and opposite arm reaches up. So you're coming into a little twist. If you're in butterfly seated, you can do this same twist. It'll just kind of look like this, yeah? No big deal. So if you're in squat with me, you're really keeping uh, the left thigh anchored back as you reach the right hand to the sky. And you can still look at baby even as you open up into this twist. Hi, Munchkin. Come back to prayer and then switch it out. Two deep yogic breaths. Good. Nice. And then come uh, into butterfly pose if you're not there already. So the soles of the feet um, don't have to touch. I'm actually gonna take the soles of the feet today about uh, as wide as his head, basically. Um, so in my previous routine, uh, you saw that we rested his head in the soles of the feet. You're actually gonna do butterfly with the soles of the feet wider apart, um, as if he were a block that you put between the, the soles of the feet. This actually makes the stretch a little more intense for the hips and inner groin, so see if you like it. Um, inhale, get tall first, and then exhale, fold over. <laughs> and this is the place to give kisses or blow bubbles or get kicked <laughs> in my case right now. Hi. Hi. From here, just sway a little bit side to side, continuing to open up the left and right side of the low back. <laughs> Sway side to side. I know for me, I have these like juicy spots on the sides of the body going down into the hips that just really need some love. Mm. Good, and then just gently press yourself up. We're gonna come into lying down on our belly and if your baby is practicing tummy time or you wanted to give them some tummy time, this would be a really perfect moment and I love doing this with him because we do our cobra uh, together. So this is a low back strengthener. <laughs> so if your baby doesn't wanna lie down on their tummy, of course you just leave uh, baby however is best, uh, but obviously where you can see them. And then your legs are gonna go out long behind you. You're gonna come to lying down on your belly. So if you wanted to give your little one tummy time here, you could, otherwise you can leave them just uh, lying down. I'll show both, so I'll just keep him lying down. And uh, what I like to do here is take my hands directly Hello. under my shoulders. Hello, Alex. And um, then lengthen my tailbone back. So if you start down, press your hips into the mat. Lengthen your tailbone back towards your heels and zipper your abs that we worked on earlier up and in. Now keep the back of the neck long. This is why having baby right underneath you is really nice. And then you can just gently lift the arms. So you should feel your low back muscles begin to turn on here. Keep pressing the tops of the feet into the mat. Think of the inner thighs spinning up towards the ceiling. Lengthen the tailbone back and you're just testing yourself out here with no hands. If you like, you can reach the arms behind you, interlace the fingers, get a shoulder stretch here because we did some twists and we opened up uh, the, the musculature around the shoulder girdle that should allow us to maybe come into this. Otherwise, just arms out wide, 
or hands hovering. The key here is that you're lengthening the tailbone back and really pressing the hips and the lower part of your pelvis into the ground like crazy. Look at my legs here. So this is my knees on the ground, dead legs. This is my legs activated, kneecaps lifting off the mat. So I'll show that again, dead legs, kneecaps lifting. So doing a static hold here, letting the low back muscles warm and turn on, again, really important because you need these low back muscles to be strong to carry your baby. <laughs> Hello. Hello, do you wanna look at me? No. <laughs> I'm just gonna stay here around 30 more seconds. Stay with it. Remember, aim for that. Two deep yogic breaths. See if you can lift a little higher. Keep pressing the hips into the mat. Keep pressing the tops of the feet into the mat. Think of the inner thighs spinning towards the ceiling. So you don't want sharp shooting pain in the low back, but you do wanna feel like the low back muscles are turning on. We're here for three, for two, for one. Good, and then let that go. Mm -hmm. Press yourself back into a down dog. So child's pose I think is just too intense to take after that. So you're just gonna press yourself back into a little down dog. Stretch the backs of the legs and stretch out the low back. Mm. Mm. So child's pose I think is just too intense of a counter pose. Um, I like doing down dog after that little back bend. Good, and then if you wanted to do tummy time, let's see, uh, you could put your baby on tummy time either for the previous exercise or for this one. So coming into this, I put Alex on his tummy and then I kind of lined up in front of him and I'm gonna make sure that my uh, elbows are directly under my shoulders. So I don't want my elbows forward or too far back. Um, I'm in this nice sphinx-like position. If you can extend your legs out long behind you, great. Otherwise you can just kind of like casually hang out. And then this is a place where it's really fun to just like get low, hello, hello, and have eye contact with them and just play around. And I like to play this game where I like lower, and press up, and lower, and press up, lower, and press up. And he just loves it. Lower, and press up, lower, and press up. And you can lower, press up to the left, lower, press up to the right, lower, press up to the left, lower, Press up to the right. I don't know if he likes the exercise or it's just because your faces are so close together. Um, but he really, really loves this. So if your baby loves tummy time, this is something you can play with too. Otherwise, you can just hang out in sphinx with them on your belly. Again, two deep yogic breaths. Try to fit them in here. Hmm. Wow, you're so strong. Good, and then we'll close and end with a final uh, little ab exercise. So come to lie down on your back and bring baby with you. Now, if your baby's really newborn, this might be uh, too much, in which case you can just have them alongside you. Otherwise, come to lie down on your back and bring baby with you. So you're gonna have soles of the feet on the floor. So ideally you have this set up so your ankles are you know, not directly underneath your knees because we need to kind of have the knees able to uh, be a little wider and the feet a little farther apart so baby has a little hammock. And you're always gonna keep your hands on them so that they are stable. I'm also gently squeezing my inner thighs together, not to squeeze him, but just in kind of like a stabilizing way. And then I'm lengthening my tailbone forward, drawing my belly button down and the sides of my waist down uh, here as much as I can, breathing in. And then exhale, curling up to see him. Hello. Now try to keep the head and neck relaxed and just think of your belly button moving down and the sides of the waist moving down. Ooh. And you can reach forward if it feels safe. He's trying to do the exercise with me, I feel like. Peanut. And then you can lower down. So it's an exhale to bring you up. You reach, reach, reach through the fingers. Keep the head and neck relaxed best you can. And if baby's fussy, right, like just try a different position with them. Like maybe he wants to be on his belly again. We don't know. So just play around with this one. If you're feeling too much strain in the neck, you can always let it go. 
We don't know if we're smiling or laughing or crying or what. <sighs> the idea here is that you have an exhale that's really forcibly pulling the navel and the sides of the waist down and you're holding the exhale out of the body as long as you can here. And then lowering on an inhale, exhale, come on up. Curl the tailbone forward, squeeze the inner thighs energetically together, squeeze the seat, curl the tailbone forward, and lower. And inhale, lift. And exhale, lift. <laughs> Hold the breath out of the body for as long as you can. And then inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. <sighs> And inhale, lower. Just do two more, play around. <laughs> Remember, we just really wanna keep the head pressing into the hands. If you have the hands behind the back or if your hands are reaching onto baby, that's good too. We just don't want too much tension in the neck. Try to keep the neck tension free. Good, and then on your last one, you can press all the way up and come to sit together for Either some seated time, seated play time. And uh, that's it. That's all we have for you today. Thank you so much for joining us for this quick class. Uh, I don't know what our day has in store, but let me know in the comments below if you liked this little uh, variation of exercises, if you wanna see more videos like this. I'm sending so much love to you and your little one from our hearts to yours. Namaste.